Krasnagar, do you ever have problems with boars? No, I feel there's an unspoken mutual respect between us. They all try to kill me. But snakes, oh, they can go to the rancid ass crack of the god of cave and be done with a lot of them. Venomous worms. Krasnagar, I feel like you're my only friend in the world. Everyone else is either trying to kill me or tell me who I should be and what I should be doing. I woke up in the village of Helis with no memory. I was trying to do them a favour by taking a message to General Alex, but I got waylaid by a dragon rider and a wizard who's supposed to be making me here. And Captain Mitox wants me to go explode orcs and three sorcerers turned a whole platoon of soldiers against me. I'm not in control of anything. I'm sorry to hear this, friend. It doesn't sound as if you have much choice. Krasnagar, you're right. Screw Sandalore in the army. I can go seek out Dr. Elrath and maybe help with the plague. Thank you. I must find a convenient chicken coop and then I'll be off. Aye, my best wishes go with you, poor beautiful friend. Indeed, welcome back to Let's Play Divine Divinity, everyone. Uh, let's follow the road this way. Let's see if we can find a bundle of straw that we can rest in. Uh, to get our mana back. To Stormfist Castle, Northwest. No representation without taxation. Oh, there we go. Uh, another to the using... Dwarven Village, North. Maximum height restriction, troll size. Troll size. I'm surprised they uh, uh, let trolls in. Right, so I think we're coming up the side of the... Oh, hello! Who are you? <laughs> Take your gold. Um, this is dangerous country. There's this orcs right by the uh, right by the inn. That's not good. Um, hold on. Where are all me uh, me thing in me bobs? I want some equipment and I want some no not statistics. Uh, inventory. That's what I want. Oh, hello. What's this? Leather armor. Why have I got leather armor sitting there that's not on my on my person? Can I not equip it? Oh, that's disappointing. Uh, quite strength 30. I think my strength is not anywhere near that. Uh, uh, statistics. Okay, it's half of that. That's fair enough. Um, That's fair, that makes sense. Um, Alright, let's rest. And then I guess we're heading past a... Uh, Dwarven village in the morning. On our way north to... Uh, this area, which was described as the marketplace. But the marketplace of where? I don't know, because it's very far from Rivertown. It's past the Dwarven Village. So if it feels like it's a different um, different location entirely. Okay. Are we, oh. Well, I'm sure nothing bad will happen to the livestock. Let's hit the road again. Oh, oh, oh okay. The orcs are back in town but I've got more oh, oh okay there's many okay loads of them well, I've leveled up Ooh, and luckily because I leveled up, I got my health back. Apologies for all the wishing as well. Uh, all good. All good. I'm lucky those orcs didn't come and slit my throat in the night. Yes, this is the path I seek. Okay, um, what? Let's pause the game. What needs um, uh, some repairs? The shield. Um, can I repair the shield? I suspect not. I think I've tried this before and it hasn't really. Uh... Well, that's no, that's better. Okay. 
I mean, I could try it one more time, but I think three out of six is probably as good as I can get. Cool. Um, back to the old meteor strike. And on that note, let's do some leveling up, shall we? So I know my strength is lagging behind. I increased my damage and my weight limit. I'm kind of interested in increasing my constitution as well. Vitality, I can't remember exactly what that does, but stamina is very useful for running away. I do like to run away. Um, so I think this time it's probably going to be two, th maybe three in strength and two in constitution. How about we try that? Let's see. Yeah, let's give that a go. Um, so that's that one. And then in terms of uh, abilities, I think I can, because I'm level 7 now, I think Jan can now get an improved Meteor Strike. Um, yep, yeah, level 2 Meteor Strike does 16 plus 36 fire damage instead of 8 plus 20. I think I would really like that. Thanks. How wonderful! And then I think there are some passive abilities I would like. There's Identify, I could improve Identify, but I'm thinking that no creature would be a really useful thing to have. So let's try that, let's try one level of no creature, Superb. get a bit more info on our foes as we encounter them. Um, let's see what this sign says. To the Dwarven village, north, no tunneling within municipal limits. <laughs> okay. Um, so hopefully we're not far out then. Uh, gotta keep my sword out for now though. Uh, somewhere up here? Oh, this looks... Ah, here we go! Beautiful. All right, I'm gonna... I should be fairly safe here. Hello, human. You're a female, aren't you? It's so difficult to tell what with your people's unnatural habit of shaving and all. Uh, good morning, friend. What are you just talking about just now? I hear your human farmlands are suffering a lot of troll attacks lately. I've always said that we should go easier on the trolls, integrate them into civilized society, and train them to forget their vicious ways. They may be smelly, stupid, and vicious, but so are you human. Uh, sorry, no offense meant. I'll give you a time, friend dwarf. Okay. Um. I'll keep my eye out for anybody who's a named character, I think. Um, but very nice to meet those dwarf soldiers. This looks like a very pleasant location. Uh, I wonder what's here. Let's go. Let's go explore around. Um, this is a a building. Well, let's go inside. Uh, somebody's house, maybe. It looks like it should be somebody's house. Oh, hello. Dwarven jeweller. Can I talk to you? Hello, human. You are... Oh. <laughs> they, uh, yeah, they're, they're pretty hook up, uh, pretty uh, hang up on the uh, the gender thing, aren't they? Um, Hell dwarf, what's the news today? No news today that I'm... No news today that I know of, human. Try me later. That that was very enlightening, thank you. Is this your house, Dwarven jeweller? Mind if I... Oh, you've got one of these mechanical or magical uh, spit race things. Excellent. What an innovation they are. Uh, okay. Yeah, this is just your house, isn't it? Well, thanks for letting me wander around. Take care. Piggy's level one hit points one. I don't want to attack a piggy. I'd hate to meet a level two piggy. That would be could be uh, disastrous for me. Okay, let's go around here a little bit. So this there's no obvious entrance to this building. Um, 
Um, some of these buildings look in disrepair, sadly. Alright, let's come back around and fill in this part of the map if we can. Yeah, so this looks like a, a sizable pig farm. Oh, dwarven woman. Hello. Hello, human. You're a female, aren't you? It's so difficult to tell with all your people's unnatural habit of shaving and all. Hello, dwarf friend. Any gossip going about? They do say that a secret cult called the Sack Fling is stalking the land. Apparently, they fling sacks over the heads of young girls out on their own and abduct them to sacrifice to the Lord of Chaos. That's why so many human girls have gone missing in Verdistus of late. Give you time, friend dwarf. That's that sounds like uh, uh, either a misunderstanding about some uh, misguided prank behaviour, or um, indeed a very disturbing uh, trend of behaviour. This was the jeweler's house. Okay, so what's anything else there? Let's head further west and see oh, some misty trees. Glad I turned the mist on. Um, oh, nothing here. Okay. Hmm, the, uh, the, the dwarf. Uh... Oh, tombstones. Okay. The dwarf village seems uh, a bit of a forlorn place, I think. Oh, here we go. Here's Thorgrim the Dead. I think this might be a character we uh, we want to interact with. Good morrow to you, human. My name is Thorgrim the Death. It's a pleasure to meet you. Thorgrim the Death? What an odd name. Are you a warrior or an assassin? Nay, nay. I'm a stonemason. I cut headstones for graves, to be exact. Best in the business. Indeed, I'm the only one in the business. I'm the only professional headstone carver in Rivalon, since old Bethlemere the Elf died. Really? There's only one... How small is that that there's only one gravestone cutter? So if I'm planning to die, I have to come to you? Only if you want to be remembered after your death. If you want to go on an anonymous grave, that's your business. I mean to leave a tombstone of fame and glory to keep my memory alive after I die. I, I don't, I don't, but... Fair enough. But folk might still have difficulty finding which plot of earth to, on which to lay flowers in your memory if you don't have a marker stone. I think I can live with that. It ain't living that's in question here, mate. It's dying. Maybe after you're dead, a bunch of flowers may mean a bit more to you. Still, it's your funeral. What can you do me? You just have money. Interesting. Okay. Is that it? Is that all? How strange. Hello, human. Changed your mind about a tombstone, have you? No, Thorgrim, I'll think I'll let my bones be anonymous in the grave. That was a strange interaction, wasn't it? I didn't get any uh, any choice there. So I might be able to wheedle an axe out there, but I, um, that's not going to be my thing, really. Okay. Well, let's see. So did I miss an entrance to this house? Maybe I did. Oh, that looked like a character. Okay. I might not come back to them. Uh, Alright, well let's go all the way around here so we've cleared this up somewhat. Is there an entrance to this house? Is this your house, Thorgrim? It would make sense, wouldn't it? Oh yeah, that's the entrance there. It looked like it was uh, uh, panelled up, but that's actually... Can't read those tombstones, I don't think. Just have a little peeky in your house, if that's alright, Thorgrim. Let's have a look. Oh, okay. Oh, dwarven woman. A fine night to you, human. I thought you humans all went to bed at night. Hell, dwarf, what's the news today? No news today that I know of, human. Try me later. Thanks for your time, friend dwarf. Um, oh, okay. Some example, examples of uh, Thorgrim's wares. Nice. Um, a book on about zombies and other types of undead. Well, I guess that's uh, an occupational hazard, isn't it? How to prevent your old customers from coming back to haunt you. An illustrated manual for the intelligent gravedigger. Written by Romulus Redbeard. Indeed, this seems vital reading uh, matter for all gravediggers, even though the author can't give any guarantees about his preparations actually work. 
Okay. And then the rest is your, your bed. So I guess Dwarven Woman is Thorgrim's partner? Oh, there's a Dwarven Jeweler in here too. Any gossip with Dwarven Jeweler? Um, about the secret cult. Okay, that's one of the stories going around. Okay, well, we've got a considerable wine, uh, wine storage there. Is there any other way out? Is that a door? Oh, that's a door. Okay, there's a door there. It's a bit hard to tell in this village. Okay, cool. Well, let's explore more around here. Um, check out to see if there's any named characters because they may. Oh, okay, there's more roadways. Who's this? Dwarven Miner. Okay. A fine night to you, human. I thought you humans all went to bed at night. Yeah, that's a common misconception. Uh, any news? No news today. Okay, fair enough. Um, I'm just going to keep wandering around the village a bit. I wonder what time it is. It's fairly light. Maybe it's the early hours of the morning. Uh, Dwarven Miner. Um, any gossip for you, Sackling? Okay, fair enough. Okay, well, this is fine. And was there an entrance to this building? I missed. I guess there might have been one on the sides. Looks like it might be um, accessible. The uh, Aha! Indeed it is. Of a minor. Okay. Cooking recipe 14. Tips for cooking porridge. Dwarven porridge must be cooked with salt to obtain the right flavour. Yeah, I quite like a salty porridge. Most elves and humans cook porridge without salt and often eat it with sugar or even syrup. A lot of dwarves who, would, who work in the mines make a large pot of porridge at the beginning of the week. Once cooled, it's cut into slices so the mine workers have one slice for each day. Wow, that's some stiff porridge. My goodness. All right, so let's have a look at the the overall map. Uh, okay, uh, there's definitely more to explore over here. So let's let's head there. I'll press up this way a little bit just in case there's, so there's any more. Oh, hello, cutscene. Hear ye, hear ye. To all brave and loyal dwarves, our good king calls you to arms. War is declared on oh, the no. dastardly elves. Step forward to defend your homeland. Hear ye, hear ye. To all brave and loyal dwarves, our good king calls you to arms. War is declared on the dastardly elves. Step forward to defend your homeland. Okay. So good, so good you yelled it twice. Alright, well let's go explore this then. Oh, hello. These are people with names. Oh, they all have names. That's interesting. Ralmix. The elves again, but this time they've gone too far. It's a chaotic times indeed. Um, Yuda? If all our men go to help the king against the elves, who will defend Glenboris against the orcs? Bad question. Astrosaurus? Astrosaurus? Again, the elves. Can you believe this? My grandfather told me stories about them. Unbelievable. Unfortunately, I don't have the time to listen to them. Exona? Never trust anyone taller than a dwarf. My mother always told me. Present company accepted, of course. Of course. What? Witria? It would be interesting to see if our mayor will join our forces this time. Very interesting. Borby? Our king needs us. Of course he does. Everyone knows Glen Boris is the cradle of heroes. I know you say, dwarf. Uh, town crier? Hey, you're no dwarf. Humans can't fight in our army. Go on, get. Is there really a war going on between the dwarves and the elves? By God, there is. These arrogant creatures attacked us and provoked. And the imps are angry about something as well, so I've heard. These are hard times for us dwarves. Trust me, friend, there will be better times soon. Or, who would want to fight in an army where fellow soldiers can only reach the knees of their enemies? Come on, we're not going to say that. Good luck for you all, then. Trust me, friend, there will be better times soon. Well, um, Grimrix and Igor. Grimrix. 
I wish my shift would already be over for today. I'm in need of a huge mug of dwarven ale. Good luck to you. Join the army, they've said. Hope defending our caves, they've said. And now I've ended up as escort for this baller. Be brave. Um, not a baller baller by the looks of it. Okay, well this is more of the village, isn't it? Okay, um, I'm not happy that there's more war and discord, especially between um, species who could um, get along very well. What is this? A scorpion trap? Okay, let's take that. I'm not sure what I would use it for. Bucket with water. Can't do anything with the well. No secret catacombs here, hopefully. Um, all right, I've got myself. Oh, good morning, human. Up at the crack of dawn, where are you? Hello, friend dwarf. Any gossip going about? They do say that. Oh, so thanks for your time. I must have accidentally clicked on a dwarf. I did. Um, all right, so some of these buildings are a little hard to. Ah, there's an entrance. Let's have a look in this one. Oh. Would you care for a cool ale from old Rimmer here, human? I've never cared much for the rinse water sold at the taverns about, about here, so I set myself to brew in my own. Would you care for some bottles at a decent price, friend? What makes your ale so superior to that sold in the taverns? I oh, know that would be my secret ingredient. It adds much more than a sweet smell to my brews. Most dwarves have a liking to become drunk quickly, and this ingredient makes my ale mighty powerful. Two bottles of my ale, and you'll be dancing for days. What is this wonderful ingredient you're using? Ha! Not a chance, human. Old Rimmer here can make a tidy fortune with that secret, and I'm taking it to my grave. Um, yes, I would like a bottle. How much for it? That would be five gold bits. I only sell large bottles, you know. Uh, what, five gold pieces? That is too much. Sorry. Sorry, do not. The money is rather late. Very well, it's a deal. Great. Oh. Yeah, have I already got it? Maybe. Or do I need to? Can't see it, so maybe I have to barter for it. Oh, you've got a spider. I've got a spider too. Oh, I don't know. Uh... All right, so that was. That's what's going on. Oh, oh Rim has got quite the distillery there. There's so many jewelers hanging around. Jewel jewelry making must be a common profession around here, I, I assume. Okay. Um sorry, I accidentally engaged it there. Um let's Did I talk to I don't think I talked to Bedwear. First the room was about the orcs in the south, and now the elves. Damn. This isn't a good timing, human. Really, not a good timing. I totally agree with you. So, there was mention of a mayor. I wonder if... Grod Dunglugger might be the mayor. Oh, citizen. What is this funny smell coming from you? Oh, that's the same as you, Dwarf. You stink of dung from two hours length away. Oh, a human. Thought it was Ron, the pig breeder. Why is it all you humans smell like pigs? Don't know, why do you smell like a dung pit? I am Grod, the dung lugger. I haul excrement from the village out to fertilise the fields. It's an ancient and honourable trade, and profitable. But the order is a bit of a setback. I suppose you don't know any girls with no sense of smell, do you? Any race, I'm not picky. Uh, I did know a nice little imp woman in Rivertown a couple of years back. She couldn't smell a rotten fish if you held it under her nose. Her name is Fornix. If I see her, I'll tell her to pay you a visit. Last I heard, she was single and looking for a husband. Sounds perfect. Fornix, you say? Maybe I'll wander down that way and pay my respects. Good luck. I'm sure you'll make a lovely couple. Well, that was exciting. Into the Deep. My Adventures in the Mines of Craxcar by Reuben Ox Longbeard. The author says he travelled the famous mines and claims to have met many dangerous creatures of the deep. Strangely enough, he doesn't seem to mention a single creature that you have ever heard of. The editor's note at the end describes the book as a dwarven social satire. Ah, oh, sounds good. I'd quite like to read that. Dwarven Bread, the ancient dwarven art of alcoholic bread making by Grimrick's Gritsucker. 
This book contains over two dozen recopies of the types of dwarven bread. The key seems to be in maintaining the alcoholic content during the baking process. Oh, uh, uh, any news? Troll attacks. Yeah, fair enough. Uh, okay, so this is the this is the Dungslinger's house then. What's your bedtime reading, Dungslinger? This book claims to be by the famous orc freebooter Corum Blood Club. Some say Corum died over ten years ago. Some say he might still be alive. This book looks old enough, and Blood Club, despite his name, was renowned as an orc of education and sophistication. Perhaps this term is indeed from Blood Club's very own pen. I would it would I would be nice it would be nice to find the other sections of the story. Adventures of the Dream Gem, reminisced by Corum Blood Club. Orc Adventure and Jewel Thief, Part the Sixth, Unwelcome Guests. Oh, it's, it's, a, it's a long one. That's cool, but I'm, I'm not gonna. I don't think we're gonna go in for uh, snatching uh, memoirs out of people's homes. Oh! Hear, hear, hear. To all brave and loyal dwarves, our good king calls you to arms. Okay, he's still going. War is declared on the dastardly elves. Step forward. Okay, interesting that I thought maybe I hadn't heard that before. Alright, let's check out this this side of the, the village. Oh, hello. There's, there's something interesting down here. This might be the way out of the village, so let's head back. These could be the guards at the this perimeter, couldn't it? So back down here. There was a bit of a slope, but there's something interesting. Oh! Um, any news? Thanks. Uh, there's something interesting here, isn't there? What's this? Can I look at this? No, it's a shrine, isn't it, of some kind? Can I ask you about the shrine? No, I can't. Well, that's a shame. That's a very interesting shrine. Okay. And then... Is there anything else up there? It doesn't necessarily look like it, but that's okay. Um, it's quite a somber, moody um, soundtrack for this area as well. Let's just fill in this part of the map. Lovely. Okay, so there's some buildings around. So I think I haven't been to this one. Can I go in? this one. Oh, hello, I'm in with the pigs. Um, oh, Rowan uh, Camelwig. Interesting name. Good day, human. Um, I don't wish to be rude, but are you a male or a female? Female, can't you tell? Not really. You see, you human, your human habit of shaving your beards means you all look female to me. Uh, well, there are other physical points to indicate human sex, you know, and that's, that's nothing to do with gender. Ah, but I'm a well-brought-up dwarf, you see. I would never permit myself to pay attention to any physical feature below your neck. Even a standing below you makes you rather, rather difficult. My name is Rowan Camelwick. I'm a pig farmer. Yes, I could tell by your boots. <laughs> My wife always says to me, Rowan, I know you can't breed pigs without walking and shit. But can you please not tread it into my carpets? Lovely woman she is. Very understanding. You must do a roaring trade seeing how much you dwarves love your pork and bacon. And pig's milk too, don't forget. Pig's milk? Never thought about pig's milk before. I know you other races don't like the taste, but we dwarves couldn't start the day without a big swig of pig's milk. Best hangover cure there is. Well, I can see how it would help you throw up any booze left over in your stomach from the night before. I'll just be off before I step in something. Go around any time, stranger. I'm always ready to chat, day or night. I seem to be getting away with being very rude to these, uh, or at least uh, jocularly rude to these dwarves, which I'm uh, a little uncomfortable with. Um, there's no reason not to be respectful um, of their customs and cultures. Oh, uh. Hello again. Hello again, human. I'll try to get your gender right this time. I wouldn't worry, friend. Uh, I doubt we'll get into a position where it will matter much either way. Can I ask you a question? Um, why are you called Rowan Camelwig? I'm named after a 
the tree, my friend. You know, the one with the little red berries. Uh, yes, I know what a rowan tree is. I meant the camel wig part. I know you did, but a pig breed has to have some secrets, doesn't he? Uh, why do dwarves like pork so much? Ha! Huh, you might as well ask why we like ale and mead. Uh, yes, why do you dwarves drink so much booze? Because we can, friend! Just be on my way now. Farewell. I mean, that's quite amusing. That is quite amusing. Okay, so I can get out of this up here somewhere, I think. Do some kind of secret, secret entrance. There we go. Alright, so I've, ha I've had a little look there. So that's cool. And then there's this building, which I haven't really done much with. Can I get in the back way? Oh, it's got a shop sign. Okay, I can probably get in this way then. Yes. Okay, what was the shop sign? Black Hammer Inn. Oh, it's an inn! Fantastic. I wonder if I can sleep at this one. Uh, Dwarven Soldier, Dwarven Miner, Dwarven Jeweler. It seems a little less uh, boi I use that. boisterous than uh, the uh, human inns I've been to. Quite subdued. Um, are there any. Oh, there's a stairway. Interesting. So, this is like a reception room, and that was all that was there. And then there's try the stairway, I guess. Maybe the accommodation's downstairs? God. Greetings, human. Is this the prison? Yep. Oh. Can I visit the prison? Of course you can. But don't make a mess. I need to keep this place clean and tidy, you know. Alright, thank you. Uh, the prison's below the inn? Interesting. Travelling through the woods is a great risk these days. I remember well, several years ago, when I absentmindedly followed the trail and suddenly found myself in a troll there. As I looked into the faces of those barely sane creatures, I immediately realised even trolls appreciate their privacy, made hasty excuses and left. Okay, um, anybody to talk to? Not particularly, it appears. Interesting. Well, this is uh, an interesting locale. I, I wonder. Um, is it from this person by? Yeah, from that person by accident. Oh, uh, I did that again. Um, here we go. Okay. So where? Where's the actual? Oh, accommodation. Uh, how confusing. Yeah, I've seen the whole... Okay. Well, that was a confusing inn, for sure. Oh, ah, this looks like... Glenboro's Town Hall. Town Hall, okay. So this might be where the mayor is. So that might be somewhere interesting to visit. Uh... Oh, hello, this is a new rumour. Apparently you humans think that a river of molten gold runs through the dwarf halls. What a rubbish! If that were true, gold would be worth less than tin. No, the truth of the matter is that there is no, there is an ordinary river that washes down a lot of gold dust. But that's all. Thank you for your time, friend dwarf. I've clicked on a lot of people by accident here. This must be... Gregor Dana Trim, um, who has a very a fancy desk. Um, I won't go poking around the town hall any further. Let's talk to Gregor. Well met, human. <coughs> My name's Gregor Dana Trim, and I'm the mayor of Glen Boris. <coughs> Are you sure you're the town mayor and not a drunk with delusions of grandeur? Oh, I'm. I'm very sassy today. I'm always saying there's a time for work and a time for relaxing. Cheers, me human friend. <laughs> right, but try to keep that smell with you. What's it? You're drinking anyway? Alcohol with honey? It's gold mead, friend. 
the finest dwarf can get his hands on. Boop. See you around. Oh. Uh, okay. Well, I guess that's why they were curious as to whether... Uh, the populace was curious as to whether the mayor would be uh, joining in uh, the battle. I'm not able to use that. Um, so we've got some people around the household. We've got... Any other named characters I can interact with? Oh, okay, there's loads of stuff around. Finest mining tunnels this side of the mountains by Pixo the Surveyor. Only dwarves can see the beautiful beauty of mining tunnels. For example, the author describes enthusiastically, for more than 50 pages, the tone variations of the grey rock in certain lowland tunnel walls. What about this one? Oh, okay, that looks like the layout of a mine, doesn't it? Interesting. Um, it looks like there's some kind of winged demon, uh, possibly with breasts, who lives in this part of the mine. I wonder if that's a little little tease to something uh, to come. It could be, couldn't it? Um, well, I don't think there's anything going on here, really. I need to worry about, at any rate. Uh, yeah, no. No other named characters. Okay. Well, uh, I'll step outside and have a look at my map in the daylight. Okay, so I haven't missed anything in that that realm. Well, let's just push out the edges of um, what we've explored and see if there's anything else that looks like part of the village. Or well, some steps up to something. Or well, some more steps up here. Oh, okay. Oh, okay, because that's they're different levels. It's a bit hard to tell sometimes. Um, I think we're heading through a little grove. Okay. Okay, there's more steps up there. Sure. Um, Dolphin fighter. Okay. Yeah, so we're um, we're just sort of next to a short cliff. Um, so we have to use some steps to get up there. And there's the shrine that we looked at before. I mean, this could be it, couldn't it, for the village? Oh, there's something there. Is that the road north? Oh, mushrooms that I still can't do anything with. Um, over here. All right, I think. Uh, what I'll do is, oh, steps there too. Uh, map out the rest of the village uh, for this episode, and then we'll uh, we'll leave it for this for this one. What's it? I've been here so long; it seems to be dusk again now. So there's a road here too, which seems to be the one that comes into the village this way. Oh, and leads to a teleporter. Oh, this is a this is a good way to end things, isn't it? Let's see if we can activate this teleporter. We should be able to. Fantastic. Yes, yeah, so it does seem to be that for each of these um, blue circles on the map, there should be a somewhere in that location a. Um, hmm. A teleporter. Sorry, I got distracted by looking at all those titles. Fantastic. I think that's a really good way to call it for this episode. Thank you for joining me. Until next time, take care. Bye-bye.